Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is LJ if you're new to my channel. So in today's video, I want to show you guys lip combos that work really well if you're brown skin or you're dark skin. Sometimes when it comes to lip combos, I find it difficult to find shades that work well with my skin tone. I find it hard to mix and match lip liners with lipsticks and lip glosses to put them together to give like a good, you know, lip combo. I'm really a big fan of a nude lip, so I want to show you guys my nude lip combos that I like my go-to I have to remember this if I don't I'll never get this lip again type of situation so if you guys are interested in seeing this lip combo video keep on watching but don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you're always notified of my video so without further ado let's get into this video so first I'm gonna start off with lip liner so you of course you start off with lip liner lipstick then lip gloss so my favorite lip liner is the Mac chestnut by Mac as you guys can see it's super small because <laughs> this lip liner has been used and abused okay I use it all the time because it's my favorite it works really well with my skin if you're of a deeper skin tone chestnut by Mac will be your best friend literally trust me so I'm just gonna start off with lining my lips with this and I don't like to blink bring the lip liner all the way down here because I have flat lips so so after after applying the lip liner I like to kind of spread it around all throughout my lips so for the first lipstick shade it's this dose of colors liquid lipstick and this is in the shade nude mood and this is just basically like a super plain nude lipstick and it's very light as you guys can see with my skin it's best to use this dark lip liner chestnut by Mac so I'm just gonna spread that with my lips like this I also like to use my hand so it can diffuse a little bit better and then I will top this off with the Milani this is the ludicrous lip gloss in the shade 190 semi charmed so this is the first lip combo this is a go-to lip combo for me especially if I'm doing like a simple makeup look it has a little bit of pink in it because of the Milani lip gloss it's really nice because it shows up really well on my skin and because this lipstick is a little bit too light using that chestnut by Mac really brings down that color a little bit more so you can kind of see the lipstick around my the middle center of my mouth but then also see the the lip liner around the perimeter of my face and yeah so this is the first lip combo well it's more like a lip trio alrighty moving on to the second one next lip trio I'm gonna start off with chestnut by Mac again so I'm gonna use the NYX professional lingerie lip and this is in the shade push up just gonna place that in the center again now these lip lingeries are not thick so no need to actually use my hands which is a good thing because I don't like using my hands to have to blend out the lipstick so so and then for the lip gloss I'm taking the Fenty Beauty gloss balm in the shade hot chocolate and this is just sort of like a chocolate brown type of lip combo lip trio I don't know why I keep saying combo trio so this is the second one this one is just sort of like a chocolate glossy type of lip trio I put this lip lingerie in the middle so that it's not too dark because this lip gloss is very very dark but adding this it kind of like simmers down that chocolateness makes it a little bit more nude but still very dark so for the third lip combo slash trio um, I'm gonna use the more lip pencil this is in the shade Vuda Hoover this is in the shade Hoover not Vuda and this one is very very pigmented I'm placing a little bit and then whatever is left I'll just kind of like bring it towards the middle then I'm gonna take this NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade Roam this is my favorite one by NYX I can actually use this on its own I sometimes like to use that lip liner to get the shade and for this one I just like it looking like this without any lip gloss because it does have like a sheer finish so it kind of looks like it has a little bit of lip gloss sometimes if I want to really really mattify it I go in with some Laura Mercier translucent powder and I just pat it on there with like a sponge or something 
just like this it looks super natural very neutral but it kind of has like a red tone to it it goes really well with this eye makeup look and this is like one of my favorite matte lip combos it's very natural very neutral not too much oh this next one is very very dark for lip liner i'm using the becky g x color pop lip liner in the shade it doesn't have a shade but <laughs> It's just like a burgundy shade. I really like the lip liners that she had in this collection because they were so dark and they show up really well on deeper skin tones. So I love these lip liners. And then next I'm going to use the lipstick. This one is the Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Traviesa. And this is just sort of like a deep purple shade. So this is the third shade. Please ignore this bump on my lip right here. It's just like absolutely ruining everything. This angle looks really nice, but this angle right here, you can see the bump like right there. And I don't know, like I, it's not going and I'm just waiting for it to go. I'm just like, come on. But yeah, this is the fourth lipstick combo. And I love this. It's very bold, very burgundy. So when I'm doing a very simple makeup look i like to use this one because it kind of brings out my lips but everything else on my face is just kind of like neutral very natural so alrighty. lastly i should have probably done this last this one should have been last so the next lip combo i'm gonna use chestnut by mac of course it's my favorite This is the lip liner I usually use with bright colors, so that's why I like it so much. Now for the lipstick, I'm using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is in the shade Tokyo, and this is a soft pink shade. Really, really bright, but if you put it on really well, it comes off really nicely. And then for lip gloss, I'm gonna take the Milani Keep It Full Lip Gloss in the shade Sparkling Pink. So this is the fifth one. This one is sort of like a soft pink combo. Trio, trio, get it together. They're trios. It comes off a little bit nude on camera, but in reality, honestly, there's a little bit of that pink in there. Um, this one, I would usually just wear it with uh, a very complicated eye makeup look. If I'm going with like pinks, like a lots and lots of eyeshadow, this would be the shade of lipstick that I would wear. If it has a little bit of pink, if my makeup is like screaming pink, I would use this. It goes really well with this look, very natural. I really, really love this one. This one's one of my favorite go-tos. Like I can guarantee it's gonna come out really, really nice. So yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I just thought I wanted to kind of share with you guys like my lip trios and combos because it's a video I wanted to make um, a long time ago because I've been using these all the time. You guys know I use the Keep It Full lip glosses, Chestnut by Max since like ages ago. I just recently got this Fenty Beauty gloss balm and when I tried this on with that lip combo, I was like, boom, another favorite. So yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what your favorite lip combos and trios are. Do you guys think I should try different lip liners? If so, which kind of lip liners do you guys suggest that I should try? Because I'm just stuck using a couple of Morphe lip liners and Chestnut by MAC is like my go-to. So if there's anything similar to Chestnut by MAC, let me know in the comment section down below. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!